in this video we are going to find the type of damping for the given system now in this they will be giving you the closed loop transfer function for which we have to find the type of damping now for before proceeding to following the question first we have to understand the damping thing so that damping is basically given by the damping factor or the damping ratio so zeta is nothing but we call it as zeta which is nothing but the damping factor or ratio okay so this decides the type of damping in the given system one more value will arise one more variable which is omega n which is nothing but the undamped natural frequency so always try to remember that these two values will determine the dynamic of the given system dynamic behavior of the system zeta and omega n value so for the given question this is nothing but the second order the second order unity feedback control system they are given so second order general equation you have to remember which is nothing but c of s by r of s is is equal to omega n divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so this value you have to remember so zeta value will determine the damping of the system so there can be four conditions when zeta value is greater than 1 zeta value is less than 1 zeta value equal to 1 zeta value equal to 0 three conditions possible when it is equal to 0 we will call it as undamped system okay undamped system when it is equal to 1 it is critically damped it is critically damped system when it is greater than 1 it is overdamped and less than 1 it will be what underdamped okay so this four conditions you have to remember in order to get the type of damping of the particular closed loop transfer function second order closed loop transfer function okay so very simple thing so let us try to understand over here so the given problem we are going to compare it with the second order closed loop transfer function which i have written over here so while comparing what you are getting to know first step is to identify omega n value how to identify just compare this two whatever question is given with the general second order uh, closed loop transfer function here you can observe omega n is sitting over here here also omega n square value is there always remember you have to take the omega n value from the denominator this factor why am i saying like this because some questions here the omega n value will change in the numerator that will be seen seeing okay so for the questions will be solving in that you will observe that the omega n value on the numerator will not be same as in the denominator remember so while comparing we understood that omega n square value so from this i have to get omega n value what is omega n value square root of 8 i can write further you can simplify but if you put it in the calculator you will get it as 2.82 okay okay next thing after getting omega n value which value i should get i should take this zeta value because zeta will determine the type of damping so zeta value where it is here it is so this term i have to compare with the question which is containing s term here see s is sitting here also s is sitting so i have to compare the coefficient of the s value okay so 2 zeta omega n s i'll compare it with 3s so here s and s gone basically we are comparing the coefficient itself no need to uh, show this s value also it is fine but still from this can i write 2 zeta omega n value is equal to 3 so from this can i write zeta value is equal to 3 by 2 omega n yes you can write just shift this 2 and omega n towards the uh, on the right hand side so it is 3 by 
2 into omega n what is omega n value we got which is nothing but 2.82 now as i said before that omega n value we have to find first because here we are having omega n in the zeta value term right that's why we have to find first omega n so what will be the answer of this the answer will be equal to after solving you will get it as 0.53 so i'm getting the zeta value as what 0.53 so what is the conclusion see as you can see over here that when zeta value we are getting it as 0.53 which condition is suitable see it is not equal to 0 it is not equal to 1 also so these two conditions cancel it is either less than 1 or greater than 1 here you can see this value is less than 1 so i can write zeta value is less than 1 therefore the given question given system is what under damped So I hope you understood this question. Let us go for few more problems. Then you will completely understand. So in this question, again the same thing. First step is to compare it with the standard second order closed loop transfer function. So omega n square. Okay. So in the previous one, just be careful. Here I have not mentioned here omega n square, but it should be omega n square. This value should be omega n square. Okay. So that mistake is there. So s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Now always remember first step is to identify the omega n value. So when I compare these two equation I can get omega n from here also here also both are same in this question but it is not necessary always go with the denominator one. Okay so here I am having 2. So omega n square value I am getting it as 2. So I can write omega n value is equal to square root of 2 which is 1.414 okay next zeta value i should get so i should compare the s term with this s term so it will be 2 zeta omega n is equal to 4 i am just taking the coefficient comparison of the coefficients okay if you want you can write s also it is fine same thing now from here zeta value will be what 4 divided by shift 2 here and omega n so how much it will be 4 by 2 into 1.414 right so which will be equal to put it in the calculator you'll be getting it as 1.41 so in this again the same thing if you go back 1.41 here we are arriving at the same thing here i'm getting the zeta value as 1.41 it is not equal to 0 so this condition satisfied not satisfied and uh, this equal to 1 also not satisfied either it will be less than 1 more than 1 here you can observe that zeta value is greater than 1 yes so what will be the system system will be over damped so here you can write therefore it is nothing but a over damped system now it is over damped system because the zeta value is greater than 1 so if you observe here again the third question i have taken okay so here again comparison with the standard second order transfer function so here also same thing omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus s square sorry oh, omega omega n square okay now while comparison first we have to compare what see this question is very important because here if you observe that if i compare omega n square omega n square here am i having the value as 1 here as 2 now since it is having two different values which value i should take i should always take consider the denominator value so omega n square i should compare with only the 1 okay so this i should take so that is equal to omega n is equal to square root of 1 which is always equal to 1 now compare the s term so it will be 2 zeta omega n is equal to 2 if you want you can write as same thing so it will be equal to what it is equal to 2 divided by 2 zeta 2 omega n which is equal to zeta okay so omega n value we know which is 1 so zeta value will become what 2 divided by 2 into 1 which is 2 by 1 sorry 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 so zeta value you got it as 1 
So as we have discussed earlier that beta value when it is 1, it basically means it is critically damped. Again, same thing we have to do. Comparison C of S by R of S is equal to omega n square by S square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Here again the same thing. Comparison of omega n square. But here if you observe this is a variety question. Since we are not having the three terms. So which one I should compare? This, that is the basic question here. See omega n square value is basically a constant value or a number which will be given. Right. So when you compare you will get it as this is the only number sitting alone. 4. Now, if you observe in the denominator, s square term is there, then s term is there, then a constant term is there. It is a quadratic equation. That means ax, ax square plus bx plus c, this form they will give. Right? Now, in which this is nothing but s square, this term is s and this term is a constant which is omega n square constant will come. Simple. Okay. So, when you compare it, I understood that omega n square value will be equal to 4 not equal to 2 okay so that is given by omega n is equal to square root of 4 which is equal to 2 after that how to find coefficient of zeta value so zeta how to find compare the second term but here there is no second term or there is no s term so what you are going to do as i said before we are comparing the coefficients we are always comparing the coefficients so when you compare the coefficients of s, we got to know that here there is no s term that means coefficient is nothing but 0. Other, otherwise, we can understand by writing like this c of s by r of s is equal to 2 divided by s square plus 0s plus 4. This is also right because 0s I can write. It remains the same thing. So from this when you compare, we got to know that 2 zeta omega n value is equal to what is 0 or if you want you put 0 s and s okay from this zeta value is equal to 0 divided by 2 omega n no no need to put the values of omega n and all if you want you put anyways it will be equal to 0 because here numerator 0 by anything is 0 so from this zeta value is equal to 0 so what you understood that it is nothing but the fourth condition which is the undamped system, not under damped, it is undamped system. Okay, so whenever in the question, if they are not giving some certain term, always remember that we have to consider it as the zero. Always we are comparing the coefficient. When you are comparing the s value, we are comparing the coefficients. Okay.